Hi, this is Don McCray with Premier Police Training. And the topic that I'd like to present to you today and discuss is identifying passengers during a traffic stop. What I'd like you to do is watch the following three videos. And when you do, please determine if you believe the officers in each of the videos was right or wrong. Let's watch. See. Okay, perfect. I have the right they to ask everybody in the car for their ID. But, okay, what, what, let's get this straight. No, we you don't get run nothing the scene, I run the scene. It's not okay? to be ran. It's that here. simple. It's not to be simple. ran. Uh -huh. It's not to be ran. Got your ID on you? No, sir. Where's your uh, ID at? I'm not. Uh, I don't have to show it to you because there's no statute that says that I have to carry an ID. All right. I'm not driving a vehicle and I'm not committing a crime. Okay. Here, here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna identify yourself to me. I'm no, gonna... sir. All right. No, sir. You don't think so? Uh, uh, there's no. If you could tell me a L statute. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm listening I'm to you. I'm gonna positively identify you before this traffic stops over. How you doing? Hey, how are you? Whatever the traffic stop was, it doesn't really matter. I'm not here for that, obviously. Okay. Oh, just, just, so just in case, I started recording, you know, because... That's fine. You if anything, that. if I need it for court or anything. You can record all you want, no okay. problem. Um, you're obligated, when you're in a motor vehicle, to present your ID. When you're driving? When you're in the motor vehicle, yes, uh -huh. like right now. Can I see what law is that? I don't have the law of Ogami, I know the law. That's oh, so if, if you, you know it, how come... If you weren't in the car... And you parked in a parking lot? No. But as, so, as, as far as the motor vehicle being operated, okay. yes. Right. So get the law for me. Give me what law it is, I and don't then the law for you. you're a police officer. You're supposed to know all the laws, and and the. Uh... So now I bring you back to the question: During a traffic stop in which the violation involves the driver only, are the passengers required to identify themselves? Well, it was obvious that the three officers in the previous three videos believed the answer was yes, they are required to. Well, the other answer is no, they're not. Well, what do you think? Is the answer yes or no? I'd like to take you to three case laws. Stuffelbeam v. Harris, 2008. U.S. v. Landeros in 2019. And... Corona v. City of Clovis, 2020. And in all three cases, the courts were unanimous. The answer to the question on whether the passengers are required to identify during a stop when the violation is on the driver only is no. The passengers are not required to identify themselves. Now, it's okay to ask. You can ask. You just not, you cannot compel and you not, you cannot make them identify themselves. Okay, and that's where the officer in the Clovis decision got himself in trouble, because here's what happened. He lost his qualified immunity after he got sued. And so will you if you don't know your lawful authority through every step of a police citizen contact. Our confident non-escalation training course is offered exclusively through Premier Police Training. It focuses on training officers to know and apply their lawful authority through every step of a police citizen contact. So do two things for me, if you would, please. And this is very important. I'd really like you to watch the two videos that I've linked in the comment section below. And I'd like you to convince your agency head about the great need for your department to receive training in confident non-escalation. In fact, it is a partial solution to what's facing our law enforcement profession today. Very important. So consider that. And on that note, I'll sign out. Don McCray with Premier Police Training. Take care and be safe. Thank you.